It's Monday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Spokesman Mark Ejige. I feel very energized this morning. I did a one hour walk. I'm feeling pumped. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling your face. As in, how you doing? Hope you are doing. Mm -hmm. I love what you're wearing. Thank I know you. it's not the hat, but uh -uh, that's how we do. Ever Gucci. How <laughs> that's how we do. Uh, very so. cool. Start doing it by Gucci. Calm down, let's make our market warm. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you. <laughs> for sure, you calm down. Yes, yes, no, yes. No, 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 please, please, please. I'm just realizing that I have to be grounded today mm. for, you know, speaking out for you all. Yeah. Um, I'm grateful to God. I'm winding down. Holiday is coming. Yay. Yes, it is. Yay. Yesterday, I finished my, my work. I have to file my remaining affairs so that while I'm on vacation, I'll be selling. Market can and be ship selling. To the warehouse. Market is going on. We're not closing shop. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> oh, we are set. Wi Fi money. Anywhere there's Wi Fi, we are making money. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe we will talk later. Um, okay, we are back home. Camp is over. Oh. My daughter has been far too long of work for the other couple that she's taking. Wow. Uh, she, take, she, needs, she needs mommy to help her to catch oh. up. So, we are not packing up. That's the only issue. But I don't have the time for all that. We do the notes in the class. But somebody sent me an SMS this morning. He says one number zero nine zero seven eight one one four six five nine says that I I got a gift of eighty five thousand eight hundred from the NASCO COVID nineteen support service. Eh? And he put a code number thirty one thirty one. And he put a name. Say I should call Mr. Gabriel on zero nine zero six seven two nine four seven seven one to claim my payment. It won't know. I know that if I got this one, you will have my PIN in your ID, my account. So this one, in case you get Come SMSs out. like this, uh, Mr. Gabriel, God <laughs> bless you. Well, <laughs> thanks a bunch. It's a scam. Oh, it's a scam. Yeah, there are too many of them out there. Yeah. Too many. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Great. My weekend was good. As you know, I'd mentioned that my daughter would be on um, radio yes, yes, and yes. TV, and she was. She was. She did amazing. Natural. Yes. I mean, they were so impressed with her. You know, they're like, Natural. she's so smart. You should get her out more. And I've been actually, you know, <laughs> on, yeah, considering it and not so comfortable with letting her out so young. I mean, mm. the way the world is. But they're like, as long as you properly monitor and supervise, maybe just let her be herself. Be yeah. She really loved it. Yeah. She was a bit nervous when she yeah, when we got there. But they didn't even let me into the booth with her. They told me to stay outside. Not even so she doesn't see me. And she did just... She did so great. But we know yeah. Ayman. Ayman is <laughs> she has just the glam. She yeah. has everything. She has the, the attitude is there. I'm, yeah. I'm so, she's I'm she's so, so happy that you are. On my way there, I noticed something. See, Nigerians in the mighty name of Jesus, when <laughs> cyclists are cycling, doing their cycle, you don't drive right in their midst. It's unfair. You can see these are cyclists, you know, doing yeah. their... Yes, and they had the, yes, as a group, and they had their proper um, stuff on. So you know that these are in a group and they're doing maybe a competition or something and then you you decide that you drive in between them between. that's where you want to pass it's not right it's not no, fair it's we did that when we did one of these marathons where we had boys just running in between all the um athletes the runners sprinters you know it's not right there's an etiquette for the way this thing is you run it's beside them be behind them like, but not mm -hmm. right in their midst kindness Please. you know a bit of kindness will go a long way <laughs> but um, i'm i'm really really good um I started reading um, Blue Ocean Strategy revi Revised Edition. So I know I read the original edition around like 2010. And, you know, it was helpful with my make when I was in makeup then. But now I'm in a space where I'm wondering I need new strategy. I've been praying and, you know, I just felt, let me just read a book. And I picked up the new edition of Blue Ocean Strategy. And it's just like like bulb, like bulb after like bulb. And reconsidering who is my market with real estate. Am I supposed to... Should I just focus on um, individuals or should I talk to businesses? Maybe, uh, maybe I'm, everybody is talking to I think you should individuals. Talk to Why don't we do a ch change the model and do business to business with real estate? So it's knowledge is power, guys. You know, I know that you're great. Knowledge. Just read, it's you know. Up, yes. You know, read and do. Apply. It's very important, you know. But let's take a break. Hmm? Well, we come back. <laughs> we will not read what is happening in Nigeria over the weekend. Nothing much is happening. We are fine. <laughs> we are fine, right? We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 
Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. We've been this, we're going to be starting the front page review and we're starting with the nation. We want to know what's been happening. Um, first major headline, electronic transmission of results stays. That's from INEC, no manual system next year. Why inflation won't drop now by experts? $418 million Paris Club refund row. Governors, knock consultant. PDP crisis, Wiki insists on RU SAC, makes concessions. APC campaign, we have Kiyamo, Alake, Ononuga to lead media directorate. Sec 6 tax exemption for corporate bonds. My faith in judiciary on shaking, says Oyetola. Welfare, resident doctors serve two weeks ultimatum over welfare. Civil society to mobilize against ASU and reps take NPA probe to London. So what are we starting with? I could start with the major headlines. Okay. So, um, INEC is saying that the era of manual transmission of electro, um, election results is gone forever in Nigeria. Um, the electronic transmission of poll results, the electoral umpire said, has come to stay. So the INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Mr. Festus Okoye, said he, had, he realized that he had to clarify his position um, concerning this. He said that there had been um, newspaper headlines that misinterpreted when he was trying to explain um, INEC's um, um, role going forward for this election. And he went around saying, misinterpreted it in a way that seemed that he was saying that the electronic transmission of our votes was not going to be used in the 2023 election. But he's saying that it is here to stay and that it's here to stay because this type um, electronic transmission of our votes gives it credibility and transparency so it's going nowhere and then he's talking to nigerians he says don't just go off a headline read and then we also have a place where you can read up on our guidelines how we do we explain everything um go instead seek the proper information but he's here to make sure that every nigerian understands that this um, electronic transmission is here to stay and i guess this is also uh, a word to um, media, especially newspaper headlines. I understand that we tend, they, uh, they tend to put some headlines so that you can just attract yeah. readership. Mm. But we, we, should be, we should be responsible when we do that. Yes. Yeah. So true. So I have the four, um, $418 million. This story, you have still been following <laughs> this story. <laughs> my list is... I don't know how I miss the parts of the consultant. Network was speaking on behalf of the consultants. Okay. Accused the governors of having received a hundred million dollar gift claim to sponsor election. Mm -hmm. So next one governor come vex. All the governors for they now vex. They now responded and released all the names of the consultants and told them. And there's a subsisting Supreme Court judgment that says that the funds of states cannot be attached to any payment, mm -hmm. any federal government settlement. And so they're asking them, you go to court and see if the courts will give you access to attach state funds. For this payment, mm -hmm. they named them all. First of all, is Ned Muni Woko, who is claiming sixty-eight million dollars of this money. Nah, named the inside. 400, ah, they can't break down the rest because the rest did not attach. Let me not name them, but read the nation for the follow of this. <laughs> follow of this uh, if you the leave us, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors and NAD, they have served the two-week ultimatum to the federal and state government to press home the demand of the members. They said that one of the reasons that, um, you know, they are going to be stalling on this, waiting another two weeks is because they've seen the body language of government. It seems like government is trying to respond to them. So this um, additional two weeks will give government the proper the time to, you know, finalize everything that they have promised them. And they are saying that um, they are asking the federal government to implement and begin payment of the 2022 Medical Residency Training Fund in full to the members in the old template while the uh, shortfall they have to review the template and um you know let it be computed and incorporated into the 2023 budget and paid in areas so in two weeks let's see what the federal government will do about this we, we don't need that extra challenge yeah. on all the things that we're already going through um the nation interviewed um economists a few economists concerning the inflation challenges and the report is it's not going to it's it's going to get worse before it gets better that's based on all the indices major issues that we're facing the speculation against the, the naira by people people are calculating and speculating how far the naira will drop Fall. and also the issue of um, about 22 percent increase in 
food, the food basket um, challenges we're facing. There's a lot of pressure from our surrounding francophone countries on Nigeria for food, surprisingly. And we also have the challenge of political spending. There's a lot of political spending that will go on between now and the 2023 election. So there's, they are not foreseeing that the um, inflation will go down until probably after the election. So they say Nigerians should brace, <laughs> brace for it's challenges, helpful. the high cost of diesel, pow um, power, gas, solid fuel, forex importation, you know, all of this would continue to increase the price of inflation, yes, and that would really help, you know. Moving on to the, the punch, major headline. 578 days strike. Angry lecturers dumping varsities, Asu laments. Government shared the treatment pushing lecturers out of varsity system, that's from the Asu president. In other news, military end siege on Somali Hotel, 21 dead. Terrible picture that you can see as is really bad. Moving on to other news, black marketer's wife, children die in Lagos explosion. 353 Kirikiri inmates on death row, says NCOS. And we have Ikoyi building, subscribers sue Lagos, seek compensation. <coughs> One trillion naira spent on steel imports. Ajakuta takes 21 billion naira. On this bust loan, push Nigeria's, um, Nigeria's World Bank debt to $21 billion. Federal government concludes takeover of four discos. Malami has abandoned Attorney General, yeah, Attorney General of the Federation role, says the NGF. Many CSOs are PDP members in disguise. And finally, it's the, um, let's start with the human, the human interest mm -hmm. story. Okay. okay, so a black marketer, um, his name is Mr. David Olabanji. He lost his wife and his two children to an explosion. Um, he's described, um, this happened at an entire area of satellite town in Lagos State. They said that um, Mr. David deals with adulteration of um, petroleum products. So he would sell mm. petrol, diesel, oils, all sorts of um, <coughs> petroleum products. And um, on this particular day, his wife had come to, the wife and children actually live in Ibadan, and they came to visit. While he and his wife were outside, and um, it's alleged that he was adulterating his products, the children were inside, and an explosion went off. The wife quickly rushed in to try to save the children, but unfortunately... She died in the fire with the children. The father also, they said, tried to get in but couldn't. But he also um, got sustained. Some, sustained some burns yeah. and he's been taken to the hospital. Um, you know, I was just wondering if this is something he was doing with nobody being aware. But the neighbors say they are aware of what he does. In fact, he's the go-to person in their community for when there's no oil, no petrol, any of those oh, products. He's the person that they them. go to for this product. And how unfortunate that the day that his wife and children come to visit, um, this happened. Oh, gosh. So, yes, this is really sad, you know, that this happened. But was he involved in adulteration of, you know, petroleum products? And the community was aware? Honestly, we just overlook some just negative hide. things and yeah. the impact is far-reaching. That's the moral Maybe of yes, the line. impact is far-reaching. So, okay, I wanted to take the discos. Um, the... Vice President Yemi Shibajo had put together or inaugurated the newly constituted board of the Nigerian Electricity Liability Management Company, NEMCO. And this company is taking over four discos. These four discos, of course, are some of the discos who have been failing. I have another story in the sun, I think, of you know how much they are owing the um, banks now. And um, he's inaugurated the NEMCO. I think, according to him, they will take over the functions of those discos and help ease, you know, their services to people in the takeover. So major headline, yes. Yeah, so the Academic Staff Union of Universities are raising an alarm, saying that a lot of lecturers are leaving the universities for a greener pasture. A lot of them are traveling, relocating. They will say they are going for holidays and then they don't return because of how the government has been treating them so far. Yeah. And a lot of them uh, during this strike are taking up different businesses. Some went into farming other businesses just to find a way to make ends meet and um, so uh, when schools resume finally after everything must have been sorted they may not even know 
That's when they the begin, of it will dawn on them the back. number of lecturers that may not be coming back. And wow. government needs to do something about this. And the fact that most of them are even relocating abroad, it's very worrisome. We are complaining that we are trying to reject the university system. And then the little lecturers that we have are relocating. It's, you know, educational. It's counterproductive. Exactly. Yeah. Just like um, the medical one that's happening. So they are asking that the government sits up and resolve quickly. Let's take a quick break. When we return, we'll continue with Front Page Review. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. And the 